Hi, hello. We are going to look at loci. Loci is a plural for locus. The locus of a point is the path on which a point moves in a plane according to some condition. So what we are trying to say is that uh, if we have a condition that wants to guide, to guide us or uh, on which the movement or the path traced by a point will base on, then that particular path traced by a point moving in some condition on a plane is referred to as a locus of that particular point now we are going to have a sample uh, or we go through some samples that will illustrate uh, illustrate a locus of a point like for example you can be asked to construct the locus of a point p at a constant distance of say 20 millimeter or that millimeter from a fixed point q so in this case, we are going to have a fixed point, which we are referring to as Q, and then there is a point P, which is moving at a constant distance of, say, 30 millimeter. What are we going to do, or how is the path going to look like? Now, let's say this is our point. Uh, let's start by having our point. This is our point Q. This, we are calling this a fixed point and now we are saying it is move there is a point P that moves at a fixed distance constant distance of that millimeter so next thing we shall do is to measure that millimeter with your compass and make a trace or a path on which that point is going to move as it keeps a, a, a distance of that millimeter from point Q. So in short, we are going to draw a circle. So that is it. So our point P is going to be moving along this path. We can talk of point P1, point P2, Point P3 in that order. So as it changes the position, it's maintaining an equal distance of three uh, centimeter. So we can now say that a circle is a locus of a point that moves at an equal distance, uh, a constant distance from a, a fixed point. Let's look at sample number two. Construct the locus of a point P moving equidistant from fixed points x and y that means we are going to have uh, two points that are fixed and x y is equal to seven centimeters how do we get a locus of a point uh, that's moving okay equidistant or equal in distance from two fixed points when we have the distance in between the points in this case we are going to have seven centimeters in between the two points x y so first of all we need to draw uh, those uh, to locate those points by having our seven centimeter so we can measure our seven centimeter then on it we locate point x, y, this is x, and this is y, so this is x, y. How do you draw a locus of a point that is going to be equidistant from these two points? It therefore means that the points that will lie along the bisector are going to give us the locus. So, if we bisect our x y we shall be able to get the locus so we can have a bisection of x y this is bisection If we bisect distance x, y, we shall get a locus. 
So all those points located along this line, let's say point P1, is going to be equal in distance from P2x and P2y. If we have it here, let's say B, P2, sorry, this distance will be equal to that distance. Then if let's say it is here, P3, as well, this distance is equal to that. And therefore, this one becomes a locus of a point equidistant from two points. Next example, number three. Construct the locus of a point P that moves a constant distance of 3 uh, millimeter, uh, 30 millimeter from a straight line AB where AB is 5 centimeters. So we are going to have a line AB first of all. In that line AB, we get to draw uh, a locus of a point that is moving a constant distance from that particular line. Now, first of all, we get to draw a line. And then we measure the line AB. Let's say this is a line. Okay, let's let it start here. Five centimeter. This is A, B. So what will be the locus of a point that moves uh, at a constant distance of 30 millimeter from that line AB? So it means we are going to have a vertical line. We can draw a vertical line through A. and through P. And then we can take our 30 millimeter Preview. and locate points that millimeter away from A Away from A, away from B, and away from B up. And then, on the other end, from B. And then, on the other end, from A. So there's that distance that is constant. We join this it therefore mean that this is a locus of a point that moves a constant distance of three millimeter from a straight line so if you have a B from here to here is 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter, that millimeter from that line, that millimeter everywhere along this, we get the locus. And that's how we can do a simple illustration of the same. Thank you for attending for this lesson. Consider subscribing as we wait for the next lesson.